let's talk money as a content creator hello what is up guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel my name is Samantha I am a stay-at-home mom of three boys and I would consider myself a full-time content creator now with that being said I put the full-time into content creating but the money is not always showing in that but I'm going to fully get into everything I make on social media talk about my followers and everything like that so if you are interested in seeing what it's really like as a content creator and someone with a following and how they make money how much money they actually make I'm gonna be telling it all so I'm just gonna get right into it if you guys know me I feel like most people know me from TikTok my TikTok name is Samantha Delar and I have a little over 115,000 followers on TikTok. I have been on TikTok for a long time. I've been on TikTok since it was Musical.ly, but I was never a influencer creator back then. Um, I started more so documenting my life on TikTok in 2019, but I became like consistent and started gaining a following in 2020. I hit 20,000 followers in 2020, and that's when I started getting brand deals and started kind of learning about making money on social media. That's also when they came out with the creator fund and I joined that right away we're gonna get into that <laughs> but um yeah i've been on social media for a long time so with tiktok um they have a creator fund they started that in 2020 and i joined like right when they started i had already met the requirements i think it was like 10,000 followers um and i joined right away i was super excited about it too now, back then, I only had 20,000 followers, but my views were pretty high, I would say. I was getting in like the tens of thousands um, of views, like every single video. And after joining the Creator Fund, my views were in the hundreds. It went down so fast. The first few days were great. I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. Like, I'm actually gonna make money on social media. It did not last very long. Um, I feel like within a week my views went down so fast. I even stayed in it for quite a while and it was just not doing anything. So let's just pull it up and see exactly how much money I made on TikTok. So I joined the Creator Fund in August of 2020 and in August I made $55 which honestly is not that bad that's like right when i started i joined the 22nd so the 22nd to the 31st i made 55 dollars. i would consider that not bad but then all of september i was in the creator fund and i made 14 dollars for the whole month for the month of october i made 18 dollars, and that's when i left the creator fund everyone else was saying it the views were going down the money really was not worth it and it just wasn't doing very well so i left and i didn't join again until july of 2022 now this is when i was like you know what i'm just gonna go for it and see if it's changed at all so for july i made 14 dollars in august i made 19 dollars in september i made five dollars <laughs> But then in October, I made $87, which hmm, was not that bad. November was $55, and December was $23. January was $80, February was $86, March was $20. So as you can tell, it was really all over the place. And then that's when I just decided to get out of the creator fund and I decided to join the creativity beta now this is something that TikTok newly started basically you get paid for videos that are over a minute long and by this point my content has changed a lot over the years I used to be one of the like dancing TikTok moms replying to comments and answering questions to now being a more like lifestyle mom content um, I do lots of like morning routines and night routines and cleaning videos and things like that so 
a lot of my videos were already over a minute long so i figured might as well join this creativity beta you know i can make sure my videos are over a minute long and i heard people were getting paid a lot more um in the creativity beta so i joined the creativity beta and within the two months of being in the creativity beta i made eight dollars which is not even enough to withdraw because i'm pretty sure you need 25 dollars to even take out that money so um yeah and with the creativity beta i also heard a lot of people losing views as well um i'm not too sure about this i feel like my views didn't change too much but i just recently left the creativity beta and you cannot go back into the creator fund once you have joined the creativity beta which i'm kind of regretting um because at least in the creator fund i was making more money than the creativity beta but you live and you learn i just did not do well in the creativity beta and i've heard a lot of mixed opinions on it i hear some people are making good money and some people are not making money at all personally i feel like i had videos that i made sure were a minute long and they just weren't being added into the creativity beta to earn money on so i don't know what i was doing wrong i don't know if it was me i don't know if it's the creativity beta but i am not a fan so i left it so now on tiktok with my 115,000 followers i do not make any money from tiktok all right this is future editing samantha here but a few things that i wanted to add i do also use sometimes i really don't use it too much but paid sounds for tiktok videos so i personally use preffy um i like that one the best but they do have a few other ones and basically you get paid for using certain sounds on tiktok some websites will pay you like a certain amount before you post the video other ones will pay you based off of how many views and like what place basically you rank when you post that video so you may make no money but you may also make like 50 dollars. so it's kind of random but i feel like it's worth a shot especially with my like routine videos i can just throw any sound up on them and it doesn't really matter too much i know like when you're doing trends and things like that you kind of need a specific sound but that is a great way to make some extra money on TikTok. Also, a ton of people use affiliate links like an Amazon storefront. Amazon storefront is super cool because you can just add anything um, that you like and you know make your own categories and everything like that. And people can click on your link and shop the things that you like and that you suggest to people and you earn a small commission on that. Kind of similar to Like to Know It, except Like to Know It, you can use other websites like Target and things like that. It doesn't just have to be Amazon. I'm sorry, they're so loud. I personally haven't had much success with um, my Amazon storefront or my Like to Know It, but I have seen a lot of other people make good money, so it kind of just depends on how you advertise it. But I figured I would throw that in there. Those are just some ways to make a little bit of extra commission money. Do you still have a larger platform on tiktok and because of that i do get brand deals um for a while i did have a management i was with jexy agency and i i hated it i really did i was with jexy agency i think for about eight months and i got three brand deals now the brand deals paid decent um my i had a brand deal for my instagram story um with mixed tiles and i believe i got 80 dollars from that brand deal which i would say is good um i'm not very big on instagram at all and then i did have my biggest brand deal with them a brand deal with the company viacord which is a super cool company i really was excited to work with them um and i got paid thirteen hundred dollars for two videos so i guess if you split that in half basically but um that was my highest paying brand deal that i've ever received but um i just had a really hard time getting brand deals i got more before i was in the agency 
I had a really hard time with communication with them and I know a lot of other creators that signed with them around the same time who have all had a horrible experience and my experience was so bad and I voiced that multiple times to the agency and like the head person of the agency and they eventually canceled my contract with like no fees or anything because we had issues so I no longer have a management team or anything I do everything by myself but I actually have written down a list of all the brands that I've worked with and what I've been paid for those brands I will say I have gotten a lot of gifted brand deals um, where companies will like send you a product and you make a video for them and that's it you don't get paid for it um, I would say looking at my brand deals, um, my paid brand deals go from about $50 to $400. So that's kind of the range that I've been paid um, for TikTok brand deals. And I have a hard time getting paid brand deals at all. I have a media kit. I will throw it up here. This is what my media kit looks like. So as you can see, I have like my rates and everything, which I believe these rates are like really low compared to what other people charge, honestly. And even with these rates, I have a really hard time getting any companies to pay me. And companies can find people that will do gifted collabs, so they're not really paying that much. So yeah, that's what I make on TikTok. So TikTok honestly kind of sucks. As far as Instagram, I have 2,695 followers on Instagram. I don't do much with Instagram. I know that Instagram did pay for reels and that was invite only and I was hustling for a short period of time trying to get that invite and I was working hard, still wasn't getting invited and then they canceled that whole thing. So that's not a thing anymore to get paid for Instagram reels from Instagram. So I kind of stopped on Instagram. I don't care much about it. I literally just use it to post pictures that I enjoy. So Instagram is kind of just for fun. It's not paying me whatsoever. Um, now where I make my most money is actually Facebook Reels. I do use my personal account because I'm really not much of a Facebook person in general. Um, I know a lot of people create like a separate page to post all their reels so it's not getting mixed in with like their personal family and stuff like that. I don't really care too much. I started posting on Facebook I believe in like December of last year um, and I started posting reels and I very quickly met the requirements to get paid. Um, I don't remember exactly what those requirements are. When I did meet those requirements, I was able to earn bonuses on Facebook. When I joined Facebook bonuses, the most that I could make in one month was $1,200. And the first month that I was in there, which was February 5th to March 8th, I met that requirement. So I made $1,200 in one month on Facebook bonuses. And then the next month that I was in there, my views went down so much and I only made $377 in the one month that I was in that program. And then after those two months, the program disappeared, just like Instagram. So at that point, I kind of stopped posting on Facebook because I had only joined to make money on there. It wasn't something that I really enjoyed. I was just reposting my TikTok videos onto Facebook. But then I learned that even though I couldn't be in the bonus program, you could still get paid for ads on Reels. So I went back and I started posting again. And so I got, for the month of May, getting paid for ads on Reels, I made $137. And then for the month of June, I made $921. And for July, it is not looking good. I think I made like $60. So it is extremely random. I've had some videos reach like over a million views. So obviously I get paid way better on those videos. Um, but the money is super inconsistent. I haven't had any brand deals or anything like that for Facebook Reels. So any money I make on Facebook is strictly just from ads on Reels now. 
and then the last platform that i post on is youtube now i have gained a big following um this month which i'm like so grateful for it's been wild the very beginning of july i hit a thousand subscribers which was one of the requirements I needed to get monetized and I was so excited about it and I was working really hard on getting my like watch time hours and trying to post shorts to get shorts views to continue like growing so that I can get my channel monetized and I did reach that goal to get monetized this month it took me one month um, of very consistent posting which is like key for literally any platform it's just consistency and they just denied me because they said that my content is not mine that i'm using someone else's content basically so now i have to appeal it but hopefully soon i can figure that out but as of right now i do not make any money on youtube i have had one brand deal on youtube and that was a 400 dollars brand deal um and yeah that's basically it um for youtube at least I'm really hoping that soon I can get monetized and maybe start earning money here but for now my only income really comes from brand deals on TikTok and ads on reels for Facebook so that's basically it so it's very inconsistent money um, I'm hoping eventually it'll be at least inconsistent enough where I can still have a decent amount of money but who knows but yeah, that's kind of my experience as a content creator and what I make and how I do it. And if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will help out wherever I can. But yeah, so far I would say I am learning. I'm definitely learning. I feel like so many people are trying so hard to grow on TikTok and honestly I feel like TikTok is just not where it is anymore. I feel like Facebook is great. I feel like I've heard a lot of people having good results on YouTube, but basically at the end of the day, I post content because I enjoy it. I absolutely love posting. I've been posting for a very long time and it's so cute because now the kids even like watching my YouTube videos. I vlog lots of like their birthdays and I vlog vacations all the time. So they love watching those videos specifically but I just love having the memories and I'm so excited that I get to look back on so many things. I was vlogging when Kai was a baby and just here and there vlogging when the kids were younger and I really want to be consistent about it so I can like have so many memories to look back on because it really is fun and I love editing and all of that. So if you guys are interested in creating content go for it i vlogged a lot just on my phone um i used to mainly vlog on my phone now i have a canon camera i love my camera it is the canon sx 740 um it has like the little flip up camera thing so i really like it i think it's a great vlog camera and it's pretty affordable um so yeah if you guys want to create content, just go for it. Post what you like, use your phone. You don't need all this fancy equipment and just go for it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hearing my experience with what I make on social media. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video.